Well, hello. Welcome. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Uh, it's the Mover Mailbag. I'm going to get my little uh, Mover Mailbag live up. Let's see if anybody's actually watching this yet. <clears throat> Nobody yet. Okay. Well, cool. Well, welcome. We're going to take a look at your emails and questions, and then uh, we'll go to the chat and use the chat. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the videos from this week. It was awesome. The uh, Texas Air Aces thing. That's pretty cool. You know, VHS, little trip down memory lane. I've got a bunch of these. So since since it worked well, I'm going to keep doing them. And um, I, somebody made a good point about you got to save the VHSs uh, because they don't last long. So I'm working on digitizing stuff. And there's a lot of cool stuff uh, in here, uh, including, which I don't know if I'll do it on this channel, but I went to a, a NASCAR school. And I got that footage, so that was uh, awesome. It was called Need for Speed. But anyway, let's take a look at the packages, so to speak, first, which is just two of them. But um, one's for the dogs, but the dogs are currently preoccupied. So um, let's take a look. Here we go. Look at this. This is from Toddy. She sent this. Uh, she always sends stuff for the dogs. So, oh boy, I shouldn't have done that. They're in the other room, but squeaky toy, Trito, and then the pupper dog, her pupper dog, put in something for me, and it is a little car, a little C8 Corvette for the tree that's behind me. I did not film the annual erection of the Christmas tree this year, so that on me. Next year, I will... Be sure to, to film it. But cool. Thanks, Toddy. The pups will like it. And this next one comes from Christopher in Mammoth Lakes, California. And it has a letter. And the letter reads, I'm a subscriber to your channel. I enjoy it a lot. Thank you. I always wanted to be a pilot. I admire your career path, both as a pilot as a, and a writer. Honestly, I'm a little envious. My career, though, took a different turn. I'm a high school English teacher in Mammoth Lakes, California. Hope that one day I can still work on getting my private pilot's license. Anyway, I'm a lifelong aviation enthusiast. My dad was in the Air Force doing some sort of work in communications while I was growing up. I go to air shows when I can. I'm not that far from Fallon and Edwards here in California. In addition, I like to go plane spotting in Star Wars Canyon, which is near Death Valley National Park. Also, not that far from where I live. I bought the enclosed bandana at the Panamint. Springs Resort, which is near Star Wars Canyon, where my wife and I like to camp when we were on one of our plane spotting trips. I know that one bandana is not much, but please accept it as a gift appreciation for the work that you do on your channel. I'm not a pilot, but I find it find I can vicariously be one by watching your content. I also enjoy your movie reviews as well. In particular, I appreciate the fact that you enjoy the show Airwolf. I remember watching and enjoying the show while growing up too. Thanks again, Mover Christopher. Well, thanks, Christopher. It's very kind of you. It's very nice. And check this out. Oh, look, it's, it's a pull up thing. It's a hornet, super hornet. I don't know if that's good. We're going to work. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Very nice. All right. To the email. Hey, Skid, checking in. Uh, we're going to start out with some older, I know it's the holidays, but we'll start out with the hate mail first because we did get some hate mail uh, earlier from the last live stream where Wombat uh, helped. So let's see. Starting with Reese. Reese says, hi, CW Lemoyne. I just thought I'd say that you and Wombat were acting very childish on the last live stream you did with him. Just wondering why really you and him must have chips on your shoulders. Um, and this is from Reese zero one at somewhere.com. So not a real email address that I can respond to. The answer to your question is, I don't know what you're talking about. So, uh, fighter pilots in general have fun. We're, I mean, I don't know. I thought it was a fun stream. I thought it was cool. I don't remember anything particularly childish, but fighter pilots in general can be a little childish. So yeah, is what it is. But uh, thanks, I guess. Thanks for watching at least. And the other, uh, <clears throat> not one. Um, this comes from James, uh, also with a fake email. Hi, CW Lemoyne. I think it should be Lemon and not Lemoyne. To be honest, it does not sound... It Sorry. To be honest, it does kind of sound like Lemon. No, it doesn't. Uh, also, stop acting like a knobber. 
uh, knob head. You might have served in the military, but I don't think that gives you the right to act in an arrogant way. Again, I don't, I don't know what that means. I mean, I'm confident. I mean, I, I'm, I'm confident in what I do and what I know. I'm, you know, I know sometimes I know I don't know things and I'll say that I, I, I don't try to be arrogant in any way. Um, I know that sometimes when people, you know, are confident in what they know, it can come out off a little arrogant, but in general, you know, when I don't know something, I say, I don't know it. And I'm always here to learn. I'm always, you know, trying to make myself better and make, uh, other people better. So no idea, a lot of whining though. All right. And, uh, this one comes from crazy Pete. Long-time listener, first-time writer. My ears perked up during the last mailbag when you mentioned going into Balad in a Herc. I'm a retired C-130 engineer who flew in and out of Balad a lot, maybe a couple hundred times, and now I'm wondering if you were on my plane. First mission over Iraq was end of 03. Last one was summer of 08. Uh, when were you in, in Mortaritaville? That would have been uh, January of 09 was when I went in, so I think we were in a J model, too. Uh was it 330 seconds still in charge? Yes. Their CO once said, since we were flying our Hercs out of their base, we were now Tuskegee Airmen, and he gave us their patches to wear. I still have mine in my shadow box. I'm proud to be a part of the Tuskegee Airmen. I'm careful to specify I was not one of the Tuskegee Airmen. Those guys were heroes twice over more. I agree with that. Keep fighting the good fight, bro. I uh, hope you find your way into another pointy jet. Crazy Pete. Thanks, Crazy Pete. Yeah, it's unfortunate our paths didn't cross. <clears throat> but what's cool is you bring up a good point. I was, uh, the 332nd obviously has the tradition of the red tails, the Tuskegee Airmen, but also the 301st does as well, the Hellcats. So I've been in two squadrons now that have history with the Tuskegee Airmen. So good question, uh, as well. Let's see here. Uh, Damien wants to know what happens to an air-to-air -air missile if it misses its target. Nothing. It just flies off and goes stupid. Flies into the water or ground or whatever. They have to uh, guide and fuse. So if they don't refuse, they just fly off and go stupid. So, nothing. All right. Uh, this is a Russian with a question. I won't waste too much of your time with small talk. Like many, I came to your channel for Top Gun and stayed for Ace Combat reactions, jokes about planes my country makes. <laughs> we need to do another Ace Combat. I haven't done that in a while. Uh, the reason I'm writing you today is to ask a question, hopefully get an answer. I read about Make Them Tell You No and watch you talk about it, but I wonder, is this strictly applicable to pilots or is it possible for a civilian to live by it too? Absolutely. Anybody. It's just, the whole point is self-doubt. You know, don't be your own worst enemy. Don't Tell yourself no. Let somebody who's in a position of authority be the one to tell you no. And the answer will probably be yes. I work in PR. I feel far, far away from anything military-related, but I've been told many times by superiors, clients, and others that I can be a bit too persistent. Whenever I need information for an article or to get in touch with someone to set up an interview, I will not take silence or stalling for an answer. You tell me to wait. You have to tell me for how long. Otherwise, you get emails for days. Same as you ignore me completely. If you tell me no, I need to know why. Um... This goes not just for everyday work, but my career overall. As a kid, I had two dream jobs. One was something connected to motor racing. Yeah, that's a good job. And the other was work with a video game company. My mother made fun of me. My father didn't care. People told me to look into something more realistic. Think about the job and the benefits. It was a waste of time. I quit the job I didn't belong at. I worked on my skills, writing articles, pretty much anything, and pestered my way into my first PR gig, a job where my client was an oil and fuel provider for a well-known Formula uh, team. Years later, when I was between jobs, I saw an agency I knew worked with a gaming publisher known for a series so famous, everyone knows it by its name. I can't say it because I'm still under NDA. I spent six months emailing, calling, and messaging them until they finally noticed me. I knew that the offer was coming the moment I found out my first interview was conducted by the president of the agency herself, and she didn't say no. So like you say on your website, I keep pushing until my version of someone in position of authority will tell me no. Maybe I'm overreaching, imagining myself. No, that's exactly, that's 100% that's right. Thank you for taking the time to read this. Hope we get a reply, whatever it may be. Uh, wishing you happy holidays, Andre. P.S. What would AC-130 crews say in response to being called herbivores? They'd probably laugh. Uh, let's see here. What else we got? Uh, mailbag question in response to your comments on names on the side of your jets. Of jets. Mover slash Mr. Lemoyne. Hope this email finds you well. I love your channel. Came for the GTA police videos. Stayed for the aviation commented a few times that jets being depicted as having a name and call sign on the pile of them is rare. It makes sense outside of a movie or something. 
I was wondering is if when someone's name is painted on the jet, what is the purpose of doing this? What would it mean that day you were flying a jet with your name on it? it uh, thank you for the content. Keep the blue side up unless you don't want to, Matthew. It's pride. Uh, you know, typically a crew chief will own a jet. If your name's on the jet, you know, you'll kind of form a bond with them. And, you know, you'll you'll be kind of have a vested interest in when it's down for maintenance, when stuffs are going wrong with it, when stuff's going right with it. Um, it, it's just a sense of pride and, and ownership. That's really it. Uh, some guys will go down and help, you know, work on the jets even sometimes, but, um, it, it's, it's just an honor thing. It's really at all it is. It doesn't have any like official purpose. Uh, let's see, but that's a good question. A good email. Uh, let's see. All right. Greetings. Aspiring air force pilot with an age problem. Hello, Mr. Lemoyne. I'm an air, aspiring Air Force pilot. I've been following your YouTube channel for quite some time. Since last year, I've been building up my aviation career with the intent of commissioning in the Air Force via OTS. I've taken the FOQT, all scores above 90, pilots 93, passed some flight hours around 22, finished taking my TBAS, obtained a PCSM score of 76. However, biggest challenge for me is my age. I'm well beyond the cutoff at 36. Convincing a recruiter to help me attain an exception to policy is near impossible. They're very helpful, but are directing me towards the RPA route or non-rated AFSCs, such as AFSOC, which is Special Operations Command. Won't let me schedule a MEPS appointment until I decide away from my first choice of being a pilot. I'm trying to get fighters, special operations, or eventually test pilot. I'm still working towards my PPL, middle putting the other package. I'm in dire need as I'm running out of options. Is there someone I can talk to or network with to make this work? I do have my MS degree in a STEM field, relatively high GPA if that helps. I'm athletic. No health issues. Uh, I'm wondering what the rationale is behind the age policy. Uh, the rationale, I'll address your other stuff, but it, I mean, it's years of commission service, right? So, you know, a 20 year career, um, you know, I put you at 56, you know, that that's, I mean, that's really the rationale behind it is how old will you be and how many years will you be able to give uncle Sam good years, right? Cause they think that those of us that, you know, are in our thirties are not, as high speed as those that are in their 20s. Uh, I wanted to talk to someone as I'm pretty candid, honest. I really just want to do what's possible to get a UPT slot. Uh, nothing more in life than uh, stick to the Air Force to retirement, going to inject, plan to study aeronautics, astronautic theory as an academic at heart. Well, Samuel, I think your best bet is the guard. I don't think the active duty is a I, I, I think it's going to be tough to get an acceptance into policy through the active duty. I think what you need to do is find a guard unit that really likes you and is willing to go to the extra distance to sponsor you and do an exception to policy because that is where your chance is going to be because active duty, you're just a number and they've got a lot of numbers that are applying. So, you know, there's really no way for you to stand out, but guard is that whole person concept and they will say, yeah, we want this dude. He's got a good personality. We want to see him succeed. So there you go. That that would be my advice is to go. And that's my advice in general. Go guard. Don't go active duty. You can always go active duty in the guard, but I would rather not uh, go active duty personally. All right. This comes from uh, Beach. I've enjoyed your videos. I'm retired Air Force 74 to 94. Worked in Nellis Ranges, Red Flag, and 12 years in German Air Defense, among other places. I was at NATO HQ SOC 4, Sector Operations Center 4. In Germany, I think it was in 89 when one of the German CRC's fixed radar sites activated the light to tr a track they said was an F-16 engine out landed at Bitburg. The track was somewhat northeast of Han Air, Bors Air Base when something didn't smell right. I didn't think the F-16 could glide that far. They asked a question. Turned out it was an F-15 and he didn't see any problem with a single engine landing. I was glad I didn't have to advise the general in half of Europe of a smoking hole. Yeah, that would have that sucked. Although we can do a one-to-one, -one, the F-16, you know. So 20,000 feet, 20 miles, you can pretty much do. Uh, this one comes from Aiden. I was wondering if Sim, specifically DCS World, could help you familiarize yourself with an aircraft. I'm not old enough to be a military pilot, so I was thinking Sims might help me at least get familiar, to at least familiarize myself with the interior of an aircraft. What are your thoughts on Sims and their realism? So first of all, if you're not old enough to be a military pilot, you don't have a reason to familiarize yourself, like with an F-16, for example, or an A-10. Uh, it's cool. They're fun. I, you know, I support playing military flight sims. You know, it, it teaches you a lot of stuff. 
does it prepare you for any kind of military career? No. Um, does it prepare you for any anything in pilot training? No. Uh, I, I just don't see the utility of it. Um, now, would learning an aircraft uh, just give you a, a basic overview? Yeah. It, it, learning some basic concepts, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, make sure you get it from a good source. That's the other thing, too, is, you know, what I don't want to see is people like getting bad habits, but I think that it definitely is fun to do and it's good that you have a, an interest in it. Do I think it's going to necessarily, you know, make you graduate number one in your pilot training class? No. Uh, do I think that you need to get familiar with the interior of an aircraft? No. Now it'd be cool to, you know, get in a Hornet or get an F-16 and learn the startup procedures. And, you know, I mean, to, to figure out kind of how it works, but, the odds of you flying either of those with them being, you know, removed from the inventory as we go, especially at your age, pretty low. So, I mean, it's not going to be directly applicable, but it can give you kind of a, a way of thinking. You know, if you could get a hold of a dash one, for example, and, you know, you read section one, um, section two, three, five, you know, learn ops limits and stuff that that's what you're going to have to do in your career. So I think there is some utility, but I don't think it can necessarily um, directly help. DCS is obviously very realistic in terms of systems, uh, but it's also different. You know, a lot of stuff's classified, so it's not going to be the same, but I think it can help. I really do. I, I think just in general. So anyway, uh, that is it for the mailbag portion. Let's take a look at the uh, Q&A, if you will. So let's take a look at the chat, shall we? A lot of Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, you as well. I hope 2022 is better than 2021. Uh, Jeff says, Airwolf rocks. I agree. Great show. Um, Skit says, don't be a hater. I agree. Don't be a hater. That's it. Uh, beard and stash, you're right. Well, I don't know how long it'll last, but it's here for now. Uh... I've noticed a lot of dorks without any skills or knowledge of anything perceived confidence and pride in oneself, real pride, not modern screwiness of that word is arrogance. It's really envy. I do. I agree with that. Actually. I've seen that a lot where people can mistake. Um, you know, I have seen it in a lot of comments, you know, where you say something like, like when we were talking about DCS and you know, I'm like, look, I'm a subject matter expert. I mean, it's not because I'm arrogant. It's because I've earned it. You know, I did it. I did the work. I became an IP. I was teaching, you know, BFM, I've flown, you know, two different fighters. I, I've I've done all the things required, so it's not a, from a position of arrogance. It's it's just the way it is, you know. And and I, you know, when and it's 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 kind of a source of pride, but also of credibility. You know, when somebody questions something, it's like, okay, dude, go with your quals because I want to know who I'm talking to. Because if not, we're not on equal footing. You know, I mean, that's just the way it is. So I think sometimes it it gets misconstrued, but you know, I agree with you. Uh, please talk about the AMCA five point. I don't know anything about that. No idea. Uh, what do you think of Australia and Boeing? Again, don't know anything about it. Is that, is that a loyal wingman thing? I haven't, I guess I need to keep up more. <clears throat> uh, spot on pride in what you do and bond with your pilot eagle crew chief 9606 nothing in the world like walk up to your jet and see your name on absolutely i think that's that's exactly right <clears throat> uh kurt says enjoy your books and videos any more specter books in the works so there's a kruger book in the works which i've written all of one chapter <laughs> i'm slacking but yeah it's, it's it picks up the prologue is is a different perspective of something that happens in Finny Flight, and then it's going to pick up um, at the end of Finny Flight. So it's a Kruger book with Alex Shepard. Uh, Spectre's kind of retired. Um, I don't know if I'll bring him back. I may do some new characters, but Spectre's kind of done all the stuff that Spectre needs to do. What if you want to be the next Doug Masters? You need flights. That is a valid point. That is true. But you need a real... He got... Remember... It wasn't DCS. He was actually in a real sim. So if you can get access to a real sim, then by all means, you can be the next Doug Masters. Uh, would you play Flight Sim? I have. I have. Am I going to do more videos of Flight Sim? 
I don't like the vi- I don't like doing the videos in DCS because I, I just the it's really toxic. I mean, it, it is a very toxic environment when you do videos in DCS. You know, it's it's a lot of frustration. I'm not sure. I'll. I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, in fact, too familiar with the simulators and amateur might make you learn the real thing more tricky because you think, yeah, I think that goes to the bad habit patterns thing. Like I said, I wouldn't, I'd play it for fun. I would not try to play it to learn anything. Um, I just don't, I think it's better to, to show up with a good attitude to pilot training. No, you don't know what you don't know. Learn what they tell you to learn and you'll do a lot better than if you try to cut corner not cut corners but if you try to get ahead of the game favorite non-us warbirds uh man the flanker flanker's cool mig 29 that js 39 seemed like a cool airplane Eurofighter, or foul man i'd fly anything why does it seem like every fighter pilot goes on to write thrill novel th- th- thriller novels nothing wrong with it just seems like a common trend i have no idea I started writing mine because I was bored and uh, it worked, which by the way, good segue in the description, the Spectre series box set slash container set, so to speak, uh, which is books one through four is on sale now uh, for 99 cents through January 15th. So you can get all four books for a buck. It's a good deal. And I always tell when you're not flying the pointy jets facial hair. Yeah. It's been a, it's been a minute since I've flown. Um, has the bottle breacher come in handy yet? No, not yet. I haven't needed it for any. Everything's been non-bottle, but I do appreciate it, though. Thank you. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Do the crew chiefs stay with one pilot? Do they stay with one plane or do they overlook? Uh, so, no, not with one pilot because then they would never. <laughs> I mean, what happens if the dude's sick, right? Uh, one plane. They are responsible for one plane, but they will launch multiple planes. So uh, they have one with their name on it that they're kind of, that's their baby, but they'll launch, I mean, multiple planes. In which aircraft you feel more safe, F-16 or F-18? That's a good question. Uh, I never felt unsafe in the F-16. Obviously, the F-18 having two engines is nice, but... um, I had a lot more experience in the F-16, so I felt more comfortable with it. But um, I guess, you know, just basics, you know, the F-18 having two engines is kind of a little bit more of a safety factor. What's the minimum age to attend OTS? For example, I'm currently on track to complete my degree at 18. Minimum age? Uh, That's a good question. I don't know. You can look that up though on the uh, OTS website. Uh, I would have a, I would, I don't know, I don't know if it's twenty one or if it's eighteen. Um, it's whatever that you'd have to look at the minimum commissioning age. I think you should be fine, but I don't know. I can't answer that question because that's never, no one's ever asked me that. But congratulations, good on you for for finishing like that. Uh, dif- differences in leadership. There is no leadership at the at the Air Force level. Um, you know, the, the, the Navy gives you responsibilities, you know, you lead people, they treat you like an officer, um, at the CGO level, company grade officer, which is the equivalent, the JO level. Um, they, the air force does not trust its people. I don't think at any level to lead, to be honest with you. I think squadron commanders really don't have any leadership ability either. Their management, you know, I mean, they just, the air force doesn't, doesn't really put the, trust and leadership like the Navy does. So it's a huge difference, but, um, you know, on the CGO level in the air force, you're probably going to be doing scheduler training, uh, might work in Stanaval to help not to, you're not going to run Stanaval as a, as a captain or a O2, O1 type. Um, but you know, you're not going to be cause the maintenance and ops are separated in the air force. So you're not going to be in charge of a whole bunch of enlisted people. There are some exceptions. There are some jobs that, you know, you will manage a handful of people, but nothing like what the Navy does. How many hours do you have in the 38? Uh, if you count 38 C time, 
like 250 not much i mean I, I mean it's hard to get hours in this thing you know we fly a one hour 0.9 and you know we're only flying four to five times a month at best and a lot of times not even getting that it's it's tough doug says spoilers did i say a spoiler Ooh, sorry oops uh oh hello yes <laughs> how you doing uh let's see as a writer are you able to turn your writing mind off when doing your job it's frustrating for me to have words and sentences form in my head when i'm unable to write anything down uh sometimes it's hard to turn it back on that's lately what's been my problem is that i'll sit down and be like yeah i don't really feel like writing but nah i mean sometimes i'll get an idea and then forget it so it's nice to have something to write it down but um no nah, I, I don't think turning my mind off is the problem i think turning it back on sometimes is will youtubing affect my chances of becoming a fighter pilot Ooh, that's a good question uh and the answer is it depends so here's my advice as someone who's personally been affected by this you know i've, I've missed a lot of opportunities because of youtube because the community in general does not like people with big social media presence. They don't want people that stand out. They just don't. They, they'd rather, you know, the, the quiet professional type. Not saying that this is unprofessional. I'm just saying that's, you know, they, they say the whole perception is reality. If I were trying to get a job in the military, I would not have it. Um, now, Granted, I have been trying to get a job, and I can tell you it's it's affected it. You know, nobody wants to hire somebody. There's other factors at, at play for that, but if I were, you know, looking into OTS, guard units, whatever, I would have the smallest, most non-existent social media profile footprint I could because it does not, there is no way it can help you. It can only hurt you. So, you know, the best you can do is break even. So that would be my advice is to not have it. Uh, especially if that's what you want. Now, if you're okay with not getting it, then sure. Yeah. Um, and if it's too late, then own it, you know, I mean, hopefully it's doing something good for other people, but I just think, and especially you no know, TikTok. TikTok is a Chinese app, um, spyware, all that stuff. It's very cringe. Definitely no TikTok. Probably not a good idea to do YouTube. Instagram. Okay. You know, as long as what you're doing, you're not like, you know, posting naked pictures of yourself or something stupid. Um, but I just, the smaller the social media footprint, the better. Uh, let's see. Any thoughts on the international fighter deal market? Canada is supposedly looking at the Gripen and F-35. Nope. No thoughts on that. Maybe we should get mover into sub sims. What is that? I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound good. It depends. I like them both. Skid with the, uh, with the actual answer. USAF age requirements, 18 men, 39 max. There you go. Uh, oh, so we've answer, asked this question now again. So your second question, is there a net worth limit in the military? Uh, I don't think so i think you'd have to be like into the millions but how successful is your youtube channel like are you making you know, like uh, i mean now you got to consider to even want to be in the military if you're making you know i mean we're talking 50 grand a month probably not even you know go buy your own jet but i would say don't do it Uh, from a pilot ergonomic standpoint, cockpit layout displays positioning and size HOTAS, uh, F-16 or F-18, F-16 F all day long. The HOTAS and the pilot vehicle interface and the F-16 is much better. A lot more, just keep your hands on the... I You have to reach up and push stuff a lot more in the Hornet than you did in the Viper. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Uh, ever fly seed? No, I was not a seed.
Andrew, has anyone ever brought up the concept of turning the Spectre series books into a movie series? Yes. Uh, the problem with the Spectre series is it's expensive. It's got jets. It's got jets. Jets are expensive. You're talking probably a $50, $60 million budget on the low end to do it right. And that's just tough because it's not, you know, if it were an actual bestseller like New York Times and yeah, it might be easier. But at my level, what's probably you're looking at something closer to 10 million, five to 10 million. And that's more of the Alex Shepard series. So that would be most likely, at least at first. Now, if we make that movie and it's wildly successful, then we'll move on and, and do the Spectre series. But the fact that it's got jets just makes it very tough to do, to do well. I'm talking with real jets. Now, if you do CGI, yeah, you could probably get away, but who wants that? I'll make, I'll ruin my own movie if I did that. Let's see, what else we got? Uh, I'm curious, what is your real name? Cornwallis Wilbur. Mover, my father and I enjoy your content and your interviews. During your last chat, I asked if you'd like to interview my father. Oh, no. Oh, dude, I'm sorry to hear that. That's that goes to show you, you know, time is so precious. You know, if you wait even a little bit, I was trying to get a P-51 pilot World War II, but I can't get a reply because I'd been introduced, but we, we haven't been able to make comms. And it's just it's tough, man. It's I'm sorry. What did you miss the most when you were in your Iraq? My fiance, was she a fiance? My girlfriend at the time. I wanted to be home. Does working at NASA interest you? If I could fly, yeah. I mean, I think NASA's cool. Sub sims equals submarine sims. I don't know if that's something. <laughs> uh, what's the worst aircraft emergency you've ever faced? Uh, I mean, I've had engine failures, compressor stalls. Um, you know, there was the time where the guy got struck by lightning, I guess. Now, I mean, we both got struck, but having to talk my flight laid down after he was incapacitated, I thought I was going to watch him die. Uh, I think that would probably be, you know, top five. Ross Perot's son flew Vipers. He also has a T-38 with an F-5 back. Uh, no apologies here. Fighter pilots are probably one of the most cocky and arrogant of all pilots. And I say that with all due respect, without rhetoric or prejudice to be totally, totally honest, you earn. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, which aircraft can beat the F-22? Well, Skid will tell you the T-38. All right, Skid. I have never flown a sailplane or a sailboat, which Douglas tells me that's a lot like flying. CGI is expensive too. It sure is. It is. It is expensive and it just doesn't look right. You know, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. Now, granted, with Draken and Top Aces, yeah, I mean, the odds of actually using Vipers in real life, more likely every day. But you're still going to have to have a big budget. And I just, we just don't have that. I hear plane A is better at this than. Plane B is better at that, like more power in the F-16. Does there always have to be a compromise? Yeah, money and design. I mean, it always comes down. Like, if you remember when Rick uh, uh, Abel was on the channel, we're talking about the F-22 design, and they had this whole list of stuff, and he he costed it out to him, and he said, here, here's how much it's going to cost. And they're like, ooh, we can't afford that. So then it's like, okay, well, you're going to have to cut this out. You're going to have to cut this out. We're not going to have this. You know, it's all about compromise. I mean, money. I have an idea for a product I feel could really make a difference pro pilots. In short, it's a bunch of receptors built into the pilot's helmet to control the MFD and other buttons. I think Fat Amy has that. Not receptors, but it's got, you know, it's voice activated. 
Whoever ruins himself, yeah. It's like I said in the uh, the top of the uh, air aces video. Mover ruins little mover. That doesn't sound right. Uh, do you have a say in where you get posted? So if you go guard reserve, you get you go wherever you get hired. If you go active duty, uh, it's 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 a track select. So you know, so you go. Okay, pilot training, F-16, F-18, I'm sorry, F-16, A-10, F-22, whatever. And then you go to the B course, and it's like, okay, we have a, an assignment to this base. And you rack and stack, negotiate with your classmates, who wants to go where, and then the top rank, ranking girl or guy goes where they want. And then, you know, it's, it's so it's kind of needs of the Air Force. Yeah, I think she just said she's underage, though, so be careful there, buddy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's so funny. Grippen versus S-16. Uh, is it with the Grippen E? It doesn't have an ESA. I mean, I take the... If it's got the little... The MFDs and stuff, I mean... I'm, I'm always going to be, you know bias towards the f-16 but that's just me cedar cast which one of those would you choose close air support all day long helping the boots on the ground that's the to me that's the greatest mission merry christmas mover merry christmas eddie i got my daughter an f-35 demo team patch and another f-35 lightning driver patch from eglin that was by far i'm glad and isn't it cool that bayo is the f-35 demo i think she signed on for another year too Any pilot's worst nightmare? Um, being grounded, you know, not being able to fly again. Having something happen and it being their fault. Could CGI be good if one games with dogfights in a sim like DCS and Mover and us are standing next to the director? No. No. Real Jets, man. Real Jets. Uh, do you ever feel in your cockpit that this is your last moment? Mm -mm. Uh, what do you think about the U.S. Navy submarine officer? Um, mad respect, because I couldn't do it. I would not want to be on a submarine. <clears throat> Skid says T-38 equals Raptor killer and F-35 killer. Which one do you like better? A2 fly jacket of the Air Force, the G1, the Navy. The Navy jacket's way cooler. Way cooler. What's your workout routine? Typically, I do weights uh, and run, but I've added CrossFit to that. And now I do CrossFit and weights, which I like. And then run every now and then with the doggos. On their hands, if you want to know how I know, uh, I've already forgotten. Any thoughts on the A-10? Will ever be retired from the Air Force CF-35? A-10's awesome, but yeah, it's going to be retired because the chief of staff's already said, you know, they want a, a smaller fleet of fewer dissimilar aircraft. end up being like the Iron Eagle movies. Those were real jets, though. The flying scenes were amazing in Iron Eagle. Uh, any thoughts on the YF-23? Yeah, I'd lost. I mean, that's it. I think a couple YouTube videos have made it more popular and more mainstream than it really should be. But, you know, it lost. So, end of the day. End of the end. The end. Jeff is right. They'll animate a four ship in formation on full burner just because it looks cool. <clears throat> Although, uh, I was just wait till we ruin fighter pilot operation IMAX. It's just as bad. Do you ever do BFM against the F 15? Uh, I actually, yes. Both the, uh, I fought it in the Viper and the Hornet, and it was much easier in the Hornet than it was in the Viper. The Viper was too easy to get into their game plan and with equal jets of equal power, you know, they did this bathtub thing and I just was a young lieutenant, kept trying to follow them around. With the Hornet, I could use the Alpha to my advantage, fight my own game plan, and it was much, much easier. 
Sorry, there's a uh, runny nose here. I've been I had an upper respiratory effect infection a couple weeks ago, and I'm still uh, eventually it'll go away. Uh, do you think the EX will get it updated someday to match the power of fifth gen jets? Does it not match the power of fifteen fifth, fifth gen jets? I mean, Fat Amy is not exactly the most powerful or high performing aircraft. You mean like the Raptor? I don't know. Whoever ruins LSP... I love doing LSPDFR. They don't perform well on the channel anymore. Skid says, the active duty, the needs of the Air Force. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, sure. I've been waiting for you to ruin Flight of the Intruder. I know. Did the problem... So... The reason I have never gotten around to it, I like the ones that are short clips where it's just one scene because they're easier to do. When I have to sit, when I have to devote time to sit down and watch a movie, and then in this case, I'm going to get Wombat to help me because he knows more than I do. It's just tough to find time. You know, oh, I got, you know, two hours to sit here to do that. That's why it's taken me so long to get to it. Same thing with, um, what was that movie? Uh, Firefox. Firefox and Blue Thunder. You know, because I haven't seen them in a while. You know, and there's not just one scene where I could just go, you know, 10 minute video. Skid says, worse is the ejection seat not working. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. Although in T38, odds of it working, probably pretty low anyway. Uh, is the TV show idea? It's shelved. I'm not going to say it's dead, but it's shelved. Um, it's just shelved for now. Uh, which is why I mentioned us and Mover standing. I, I just don't think it looks right. Doesn't matter what you know. I just uh, unless it's the uh, uh, no offense, offense taken. Am I a ginger? No. This is brown, dude. Now the the beard sometimes current comes out light red, and then it depends on what it's off. But I am not a redhead at all. Uh. Did you have any flight training prior? I had flown a Cessna 172 twice prior to that. That was it. I'd been on a 172 twice. How would you design a modern A-10? I would have bigger engines. Leave it everything the same, bigger engines. Uh, I don't know what that means. Why does the public need to see the full potential of the F-22? I mean, you see, what you see at air shows is pretty cool. But, I mean... How do you prepare your body for pulling Gs, squats, deadlifts, um, high-intensity interval training, uh, a lot of core? Uh, core and legs are where you're going to make your money. Uh, having just started CrossFit, I think that's pretty relevant, you know? Uh, favorite novel? Probably anything by Vince Flynn. Uh, his books were always awesome. Right now, nothing. I haven't read a book in several years. I used to read sometimes when I would uh, commute for the airline, but if I'm reading, I just don't have time to sit down and, and read. I should be writing. I did do an audio book recently. Um, I listened to, uh, oh man, what was the, High, High Flight? What's the one? It's uh, about the German Emmy pilot that escorts the b-17 it's such a great book too um franz ziegler really good book anyway that's the last one i've really listened to but reading just don't have time uh tomcats for sure will direct energy weapons destroy dogfighting just like anything else, whatever destroys dogfighting, eventually we get back into dogfighting. So. Hoover, am I a good swimmer? No, I'm a normal swimmer. I can swim, but I wouldn't say I'm a good swimmer. Oh, cool. Yeah. Wait, is this a job offer? You offer me a job at NASA? I'll go to space. I'll fly something cool.
Uh, if I could do an exchange tour, so I would definitely fly it. I just w wouldn't want to go because I don't want to leave my dogs. In your opinion, what is the weakest feature? The seat. The, the seat. That ejection seat's terrible. It's going to get somebody killed one day. Uh, the seat and the chute. A um, little underpowered. That's not a big deal. Uh, I mean, in ours, the avionics are original and, and pretty bad, but the seat, for sure. Oh, my God. I don't know. I don't know what the... See, I mean, you guys ask these questions about, you know, would I prefer the F-16V versus the Gripen for the Philippine, but I don't care. Like, I don't know what you guys need. You know, I'm not... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not Jane's. I'm not an expert on the World Air Forces. Let's see. Yeah, I think the FEX will complement the F-35 for sure. What was the best advice you have to try and get into the Air Force and fly fighters? Make them tell you no. That's it. Keep trying. Don't give up. How did you make a chat box container, so to speak, appear on your screen? Uh, it's a it's a part of, it's a function of um, of this um, Streamyard stuff. This one's from Mindstorm. Massively enjoyed the interview with Rain. Have you reached out to Ward Carroll, Tom Cat, Backseater, or any other popular flying YouTubers? No, and I typically don't because they have their own channels. They're doing their own thing. I mean, I like finding people that are not, you know, mainstream. You know, that, that I, I've just let them do their own thing. Uh, hi, movers. Kick the tires and light the fires common? No. I mean, people say it, but just no. Oh, look, there he goes. Uh, yeah, that's the question I just answered. Who's your NFL team? Used to be the Saints. Now I just, I watch it for the cheerleaders. I mean, too much politics and... NFL these days. Over the dogfight video extended was great. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was a tough decision, you know, whether to do the 54 minute right out the gate or do the, um, the short version. I'm glad I waited because I went home and got these. I found these tapes. And so now I've got uh, for when we do the next one. And so for the Texas Aries, this thing, there was the next one was a uh, with my stepbrother. We air aborted. Uh, so we took off. I don't remember why. I'm going to have to watch the video, but we aborted, landed, got rescheduled. Uh, my stepbrother couldn't make it, so they actually put me in against an instructor who was doing his upgrade to be a Texas Aries instructor. And then the last one was me versus my dad. And the last one, flying with Dee Dee, was pretty much where I realized that I could or wanted to be a fighter pilot. She, there, I think, I, I, I'm going to have to watch it again, but I think talking to her on the ground there is a eureka moment which i think is going to be really cool to share <sighs> any update on what your career will be like after your t-38 squadron has been terminated uh the squadron's not being terminated just our positions um but i don't know i don't have i mean conceivably i might go to the guard and keep flying 38s i uh, may go do another job i don't know I don't have a, a definite answer. So, I don't know. Thank you for taking the time to chat with us. Well, thank you for taking the time to, to hang out. I, I always enjoy these. Yeah, there you go. Franz Stigler, I butchered that name, has been a 27 kill veteran. Yep, that's the guy. Great book. Great, great book. Subsea drone operators are all don't know anything about it. Uh, no, I answer that. It feels like that question is every stream, but no, never did the boat. If you don't need NASA to go to space, you can write a check to Elon. I'd do it, but it's a bit of my league. Yeah, I don't have that kind of money. Fun fact, though, um, if you watch the Inspiration4 documentary, 
uh, one of the guys on there had actually contacted me back in 2018, 2017, 2017, to write an article about Draken, uh, kid, kid Potit, and um, never got around to it. But it would have been cool because I, you know, it would have been an opportunity to meet those folks. Um, so just all about timing, man. And we never could make it work, but it would have been a really cool thing. I'm gonna try to work with them. Uh, try to get something going for when they get their F 16s and maybe do a video about that. Uh, no, it's just, I mean, it's, 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 it's a terrible seat. I mean, you're wearing the parachute on your back. Um, it's it's bad for your neck and spine. You know, a lot of people have neck and back problems as a result. Mover ruins NASA. Mover ruins space. Mover ruins Uranus. Huh? We know fighter pilots really don't get in air-to-air -air combat, but can tactics learn help against surface-to-air missiles? Energy management, yeah, knowing that. But there are specific surface-to-air missile tactics that you use. What's your favorite sport? Football or racing? I think they used to, but with ATAGs now, I don't, I think the playing field is a lot more level, you know? Uh, it wasn't that bad, was it? it Seems like you could tell the VHS. I 100% agree. I said that, I don't know if I said that in the video, but. Don Wiley was a great American. I read his obituary, you know, when I was looking into this stuff, and I think he had 117 or 120 something combat missions. He had a distinguished flying cross. He had air medals. He flew the F4. He flew the B52. He would have been, I mean, his one line. He would have been like shoes. His one liners would have been amazing. What really would have been cool was going back and flying with him again. That is true. Yeah, the wing spar issue. I don't know that now it's all the SF two sixty. I mean it still exists. Air Combat USA is still a thing. Uh I no, because you'd have to join the army. You know, I mean you'd have to go to flight school and stuff. It I mean we'd be basically be starting over. TV show Jack, man, I love that. Uh I actually know fighter pilots who went to law school in the guard. Uh a couple of them actually. Uh, sorry, your video of your first dogfight. Your father was awesome. I agree. Um, it's one of those things, you know, you don't realize it until it's too late, but I, I, I wish I could talk to him one more time. Uh, helicopters professionally? No, no, not, there is no ever, uh, plan for that. Just funsies. Let's see. What else we got? The Apache in DCS? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd like to try it. Uh, I was a big fan of Longbow. Longbow Gold, Longbow 2. Also, I'd like to try um, the Eurofighter. I don't think it needs to. Like, I don't think there's a reason. Like, a lot of that's a misnomer that fighter jets need to be these super maneuverable things, especially with missile technology. I just, I mean, it's, it's higher wear on the jets. It's higher wear on the bombs. You can't carry bombs when you're pulling nine G's and all that stuff. I just don't, I don't see the need to push beyond nine G's. What time zone do you use? GMT Zulu time. What's my favorite food? Uh, God steak, cheese fries with ranch pizza. Uh, let's see. A fighter pilot gets relieved due to medical. Is there a potential for them to fly heavies? It just depends on what it is. A lot of guys with neck and back problems. Absolutely. If they're completely grounded. No. There it is. Book is a higher call. An incredible true story. I knew it was something with an H. Uh, it is a great book by Adam Makos. Uh, I do not, I do not think AI controlled flight ops is a good idea. 
Uh, what do you think about the French pilot and the Rafale? My wife is from France. I do like French women. Uh, it's, I mean, it's a good little jet. Seems very maneuverable. How important are air shows to USAF pilots' morale? Not at all. Not even a little bit. The, the, the air shows are for the public. Let's see. What else we got? Any special plans for Christmas? That was yesterday. It was a good Christmas, so it's fun. Uh, just bought your book series, Mover. Going to be a good read. Thanks, uh, Michael. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, I, now, Betamax is before my time, for sure. So, anyway. Have I gotten all the good comments? What did the dogs get for Christmas? Well, they just got this. A lamb, which... It's a lamb chop. It's going to be stuffingless probably in 6.9 seconds. But they got some toys. They got some uh, cool toys. And they got to meet their... Luna got to meet her grandma. Go to grandma's house. Go hang out at the farm. Luna got to see a horse. Let's see. What else? Do you ever play games that aren't flight sims? In fact, that's all I do if I ever do any gaming. I don't... I mean, flight sims are fun, but I'd prefer not. You know, I like iRacing. I like uh, Grand Theft Auto uh, 5PD. Um, if I do console stuff like Mass Effect, um, the Rainbow Six, uh, not Rainbow Six, um, Ghost Recon. Ghost Recon, um, you know, anything with a good story I like to play. Oh boy. Flight Sims are not a game. Yeah, they are. Here's how you can tell. If you can, if the FAA can certify it as a sim, like X-Plane, it's a sim. Otherwise, it's a game. If you can buy it on Steam, it's probably a game. Um, and they're listed as games. I mean, nobody, I mean, th this whole, oh, it's a sim, whatever, but, eh. <laughs> Any good strip club stores? Yeah, let's keep it family friendly. That's a good question. They, uh, I missed the last one. And now they're resurfacing the tracks. I don't know when the next one will be. Maybe February? Typhoon, what's up? You know, they changed my call sign. Like mid... I got a new one on one of these things. We'll have to look and see what it was. I forgot. It might have been a hurricane or something. Oh, got Finny Flight for Christmas. Halfway through it. That's awesome. I'm glad you're enjoying it. That was one of my fun ones. I don't. Why would you say such a thing, Kenny? Nope. I should be smarter, but I'm not. I don't have any thoughts on the James Webb Space Telescope. Yeah, you know, I, here's the thing. I thought about buying it. It was on sale for like 30 bucks, and I was going to buy it. But here's the problem. It's 4K HDR, right? So I have a PlayStation uh, 4 Pro, and I've got an Xbox One S, the old one. I feel like I need a new console to fully enjoy it, but I can't get a new console, so I never bought it. Because, you know, that's a big commitment. Mass Effect is a big commitment. You you make all these choices, you know, it's you don't want to lose that. Aircraft to fly that you've never flown before? Tomcats, for sure. Uh, some aircraft do have terrain following modes, yes. What mods do you use for GTA 5? Actually, I use none. I just go on the 5 PD servers now and let them do all the mods so I don't have to worry about it. And then Doug and I play. Uh, I don't really have one. There was a uh, restaurant on the w yeah, east side of Lake Pon or sorry, west side of Lake Pontchartrain in Laplace that I was going to go to in the helicopter, but it was flooded by Hurricane Ida. So... I want to do that eventually. How'd I get the mover call sign? Go watch the very first video of the vlog. Like, go to the uploads and go to the very first one. I, I tell the whole story there. You should try to make your videos more frequent. I really enjoy them. Well, thank you. It's tough with the uh, algorithm. I'll tell you what. 
Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. You brought back memories from playing Jane's ATF Gold. God, yeah, no kidding, right? What was your favorite? Mine was Fighters Anthology. Longbow Gold was hard to... I my I think my favorite was Longbow. I love the Apache. And that dude saying, the I had's. You know, and he would yell at you if you screwed it up. I thought the storyline, too, was way better in, in Longbow. I mean, that was like a movie. What's next in your career? Uh, hopefully a lot of good things in... Uh, 2022. Uh, Try it on PC? Yeah, I know, because I don't want to... I want to sit in the recliner and play. I don't want to sit here at my desk and play. Uh, I would fly an F-15. Yeah, I'd do that. Oh, your pronunciation was pretty good. Just speak the Z a little bit harder so to speak, like T.S. in English, and his last name was Stiegler. Stiegler. Nice. Fly the JF-17. So anytime you guys ask me that, the answer is yes. If someone said, hey, Mover, you want to fly this? The answer is yes. I mean, it's just yes. Uh, not sure if U.S. uses different terms. Any thoughts on GCI controllers? I will say it's probably like a Wizzo, right? So a really good one is additive, but uh, a bad one is worse than not having anything at all. So take that for what you will. Like if you, you can totally dump somebody's essay by just being awful. Where to find me at the Heli Expo? I will be with the uh, HAI folks at their safety booth. Uh, my, it's a Corvette Zero One, so it's a completely street legal car. Has Mover always been your call sign? No, I was Patch in um, UPT, and I was Cal in F-16 B course. Investment advice or Pokemon cards, a good hedge against inflation? No idea. What is the most common desire of every fighter pilot in the Air Force? I would say women, but I mean, female fighter pilots would be excluded from that. So I, I to do well and to win. Uh, no, it is not. The uh, question was, is the F-22 the hardest job to get as a fighter pilot? No, that's just not how it works. Even though I make DCS and other military gaming content, I don't disclose my face or my full name. Oh, we're still on the YouTube thing. I mean, you can. But, I mean, seriously, I mean, how much money are we talking here? That's my question. Like, is it really worth it? Because I can tell you, if somebody finds out, it will hurt your chances. I mean, it just will. Especially if it's DCS, it'll be cringy. You know, it's probably wrong. I, I would say better to not have it. Five reasons why your Corvette is better than the Dodge Challenger. Because uh, it's a Corvette. <laughs> it can run a road course, you know. I mean, it's a... Uh, Better looking. Just take the top off. It's lighter. It's faster. Considering there's only... It's not really, though, because it's still just a normal assignment process. It's not. Because you got to figure, you know, it's like 2.5 to 1 or something pilot ratio. I guess I hang around them a lot. Uh, going back to the airlines, maybe. We'll make that decision in about a month. You ever play War Thunder? No. Cal, like Calvin and Hobbes? No, like calibrated. Because I asked if the if the jet was calibrated or something. It was a stupid thing. Um, I wanted to know if the weights were calibrated on the fitness assessment test for the, you know, the FACT, fighter air crew conditioning test. Uh, if you could go back to your time and active duties, anything you would have done differently? Oh, yeah. That's a whole video unto itself. I don't. We don't have the time to go through all the stuff I'd have done differently. 
Uh, what's the story in your reserve career? You're going to get 20. Good question. Tanker pilots get shorter briefings, probably. I mean, they don't. Nice. Vipers. You'll love it, man. Be careful, though. It'll hurt you. Sort of music that I like. Um, mostly rock. I do like, um, like I've gotten into a Zade Wolf kick lately. And uh, the score. Kind of motivational. But uh, I've never really played Doom. Tom Cruise, yeah, if, if there's even a Top Gun 2, I mean, when's that movie coming out? I've lost interest. What was the hardest thing for you when you went through pilot training? Fix to fix, which, you know, going from one point to another using the pencil method where you had to put it across the thing. It's terrible. Where are the doggies in the living room? I got the door closed right now for quietness. Yeah, it's cool you played Nova Logics F-22. I love that game. I was playing the crap out of it. Ugh. If you didn't get a slot flying fighters, which heavy would you have wanted to fly? C-17, I guess? I don't, I don't know. Is the gun run the most fun? That or... I like doing show of force. You know, I thought the whole... Hey, we're here. You know, act right. was always a cool idea. your favorite medieval movie a knight's tale you have been weighed you have been measured and you have been found wanting what watch do i use i got a garmin phoenix i just bought this one um we have the phoenix five but this is a six sapphire am i currently employed by any american airliner yes Now, there's always a chance I'll make full bird. Do I want to? No. Would you be scared to fly any Russian jet? Nope. Will I ever move? Maybe. Oh, my God. Oh, God, that's terrible. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, we're not answering that. Flight hours, like, just shy of 3,000, like 29-something. Would you like to have your own command on the reserve someday? No. Absolutely not. Uh-oh. In the comment section of a video, I ask if you could go more in-depth with that. Can you please elaborate on that? Okay, I, I, I'm not reading the comments as... A, so what is that? And I'll answer that. At this point, it's going to be Top Gun. Mav will be shooting down. Yep. I don't want to get demonetized, so I won't say it. Did you ever fly the Eagle? Nope. Uh, do you get to choose whether you want a house or apartment? Yeah. It doesn't have to be next to your AFB. I mean, you can just whatever. You get a basic allowance for housing, and you can go pick whatever you want. Uh, would you like to fly helicopters for a living? No. I like flying it for funsies. Nothing ruins something more than doing it for money. When will you show your medals, achievements you've earned during the service? I don't know. I never thought anybody would care. Uh, apparently, I have a Wikipedia page, and some of that's on there, which I find hilarious. What would you say is the easiest, most forgiving aircraft in the Air Force? I mean, I've only really flown the Viper. And T-38 and T-6, so I'm going to say the Viper. Favorite plane you've ever flown? Oof, Viper. Uh, Not in the reserves. Maybe the Guard, but definitely not. The reserves is a dumpster fire, man. It's a train wreck of epic proportions right now. Uh, I mean, have I ever thought about being a Warbird pilot? Mm, I mean, I haven't thought about it. I have to figure out a way to bring the dogs with me. Hi, Mover. I was the tired hotel old tale of self-elimination due to opt opt 
optometrist, doctor telling me I could never be able to fly fighters, glasses by fourth grades, and now 39 PPL, finally, thanks to you. Oh, congratulations. Good for you. I did do a red flag. I did not get shot down. Can I get pulled out of flight class or flying to go drones? No. No, they're not dropping drones anymore. I mean, I guess if you were to wash out, maybe? But no. Have you ever chopped wood, firewood, and enjoyed it? No. Did you do your initial flight training in DA-20? No. Cessna 152. What is the best-looking military aircraft, and why is it the B-1? Uh, I think you spelled Viper wrong. Oh, my God. Here we go. Is this a job offer? Uh, I'd do NASCAR. 100% all day long. I'd be in the NASCAR. Oh, yeah. I'd be uh, rubbing the racing, you know what I'm saying? Did you ever flew operational missions? Yes. I think it's a great idea. Loyal wingman? Sure. Oh, yeah. It was about if you thought... I mean, it, it's hard to say because it's hard to predict what the next conflict is, but I could I could see a situation, you know, where, a, a, you know, an aircraft is, he's VID'd him or something, and he, he basically feels, you know, that he, he can escort him to friendly lines. I mean, it would be a World War Three kind of scenario, but, you know, anything's possible. What is the difference between the Guard and Reserve? Well, the Reserves are a federal mission. They're basically active duty light. If you want to, I mean, um, the guard is state with a federal mission. So each state has its own national guard, but the reserves are kind of more just a component, uh, like at the active duty, uh, it's just federal versus different leadership too. And I think the, the guard, you know, it depends on what the state is. The reserves is one big leadership. And right now it's just a dumpster fire. <sighs> Are you a turtle? I don't know what a turtle is. I probably should, but I don't. Any backseat slots for a ride? Uh, you'd probably have to have some compelling reason. We do have a fam flyer program, but I, I don't know how people get in the back back there. Uh, I've never fought against the Soviet aircraft. Hey, Mover, are you Ura? My Marine? No, I'm a normal. Do it for Dale. Rubin's racing. Uh, Formula, uh? I mean, I'd, 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 I'd race it. It's like flying. I'd do anything, but uh, do I watch it? No, it's boring. It's boring and their penalties don't make sense. I've watched a race one time where the dude got a penalty for going off the track and he was clearly leading, but because of the penalty, even though he finished first, he was third. And I'm like, that's stupid. Absolutely no canopy bow. I don't know why they put the canopy bow. I like having nothing in front of me. What are the chances modern fighter pilot will be in a dogfight? Very unlikely. Uh, I'm not superstitious. I'm just a little stitious. Uh, I do carry the same watch that I've had my entire career, even though it doesn't work anymore. Carry it in my pocket all the time. Side stick or middle? I like the side stick. Although the middle had its, its, you know, the side stick's nice when you're just sitting there. But what was nice about having a stick in the middle is, you know, if you wanted to turn and look at something, you could switch hands, you know, versus the side stick. You know, there's really nothing you can do. But it is weird, you know, the muscle memory. You know, when you start first start with the side stick, you kind of go for the phantom stick in the center a couple times before you get used to it. This is a Logitech Brio is the camera I'm using right now. When did you get into writing? Uh, so I wrote five chapters when I got back from the desert in 2009. I shelved it. And then in 2012, I had some time off between transferring from the Air Force Reserve to the Navy. I finished the book. And then I just kept writing uh, after that. So the biggest thing was actually finishing.
Uh, will military planes go zero emissions? Probably not. And that's really not something that a military aircraft should be focused on. What was your best simulated dogfight? I would say F-16 versus Super Hornet. Because I got to fight... At least I was most proud of. Because I got to fight a um, dude that was going to Top Gun. And so I thought I was going to get just obliterated. And we merged two circle. He went up with me and I barber pulled around and I was pointing at him within like 180 degrees of turn, maybe less. And then we fell off and I just followed him down and just gunned the crap out of him. It was awesome. Uh, when I went to Red Flag, the Raptor wasn't there. Yes, Spatial D is a problem in the F-16, and I've got a good story one day I'll talk about of, of nearly killing myself in Iraq because I Spatial D'd uh, on takeoff. I think I saw a four ship with you and recovered Eglin before Halloween. Or no, hmm, maybe? Maybe. It's possible. No, December 21st, I did not. But Tomcats. A scale of 1 to 10, what is your favorite color of the alphabet? Potato, of course. Fastest I've flown, 800 knots. Mach 1.86. Uh, which country's pilots have you fought against? Do you think they're best trained? I've only fought against the Canadians, and they were pretty good. Uh, I mean, we worked with the RAF, but that was, you know, same way, same day. I uh, didn't do a whole lot of dissimilar against other countries. Are JOs treated differently based on a commissioning source? No. Well, technically no, but I think sometimes Academy folks, you know, you'll see that even on YouTube or they'll get a little bit of prefer preferential treatment. Most of us make fun of Academy nerds, but in general, I think no, but yes. Flying guard will take your weekends away and holidays. Uh, I don't know that that's true on the fighter side. I mean, yes, the alert mission might, but I don't know. Just got your first Spectre book for Christmas. Oh, awesome. Congratulations. Thank you for reading. Congrats to me. Any true stories you'd like to see made into a movie? Hollywood seems to like putting out fantasy military stories when I've read true stories. Uh, I think that High Flight uh, would be a cool movie, World War II thing. Uh, a lot of the people that I've interviewed on the channel, I think, would be good movies. I helped obtain the Miramar Fighter Town Bell during a cross-country skid. It's awesome. What would you like better, Navy or Air Force? Uh, I like some things about both. You know, there were you had a lot more freedom. You were treated more like an adult in the Navy, but the politics of a Navy squadron are more sorority-esque. Um, it just depends. Uh, specific workouts? I mean, I just, other than the CrossFit thing, I do just basic weightlifting, you know, dumbbells, uh, you know, presses, squats, deadlifts, all that stuff, just the basics. Have you ever read the... Yeah, and I even tried to change my name to Cornwallis Wilbur, and they told me no. So they wouldn't let me change my own Wikipedia article. But yeah, I've, I've read it. I think most of it is. I, I don't, didn't see anything that stood out. <clears throat> you ACM is multiplane. That's the only difference. So BFM is 1v1, ACM is multiplane means more than two aircraft. Would love to hear the space. We'll do it. I'll do a video on it. Uh, I think it's a, it's a good one. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, I know. Have you heard about the teaser of the F4? No, but that sounds cool. Longest flight, uh, seven and a half hours, Hawaii to Dallas. Uh, which was a long flight, but somehow I, I, I managed. Mover still doing any DCS stuff? Eh, not really. 
In UH-60 it does. True. Yeah, true. No, you're right. I'm thinking fighters. Shoes in or Shanghai would be great movies. Yep, I agree with that. Uh, also, um, that Apache. Um, he actually has a documentary, but his stuff would be pretty cool. Have you tried pitching? Yeah, it's it's a little tougher than that. Um, but yeah. Why didn't I go to the Academy? Uh, because my optometrist told me I would never be a pilot. And so I turned down the appointment that I was working on getting like, I, you know, I, I was applying and that stopped me dead in my tracks and still happened. Uh, anything new you would like to try? I want to do more cinematic videos. That's my thing. That's what I think will be for the channel. At least more cinematic stuff and more just stuff I like, you know, cause I Honestly, I've proven that I cannot predict the YouTube algorithm at all. So I'm just going to do more stuff that interests me. And if people watch it, great. If not, you know, no big deal. There's some other stuff that I'm working on, but I can't talk about it right now. But it could be pretty cool. <clears throat> you and other buddies, authors, the same generation, consider putting together work of nonfiction about your career's combat time. Um, Gonky has talked about, you know, doing that or thinking it's a good idea, you know, take stories from a bunch of people, but I've never done that. Diapers or relief tube. Uh, how about pedal pack? Uh, I've never done any USPSA competition. I'm not good enough. I'm not good. I would, but I'm not good enough. Love the channel. Always been a big aviation buff. Hope to start soon to get my PPL. Got to make them tell you no. Hell yeah. There you go, man. <clears throat> I've never watched the old Dexter. So I need to add that to the list. Have you ever had LASIK? No. Nope. This is factory. Uh, have you ever fired air-to-air -air missile? Yeah, there's a video of it on my channel. Me shooting an AIM-9. Missile Evasion Tournament next year. Whoever needs a chick to sparkle up his life. My kids are just blown away by this live chat stuff. They can't figure out how YouTube knows my name. They're young. Ha! That's cool, Jeff. <laughs> you think Operation Bolo would make a good movie? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, when am I going to fly the helicopter again? Probably this week. Yeah. Pretty weird question, but which upfront control do you prefer? Uh, I think the Viper. The Viper was more user friendly. <clears throat> do you ride a motorbike? I used to. I used to have a Suzuki SV650S, but I haven't. Thoughts on JOs wearing pet Vipers? They look stupid, but I fully support it. I think it's awesome. They need to do it. Whatever makes them happier, man. Are you going to fly any larger helicopters? Yes. I'm working with a helicopter company to go fly, do some vlogs flying some of the bigger helicopters that they provide. So stay tuned for that. Have you seen the F-16 shooting down the OV-10? I have. It's an interesting video. You're good enough if you don't shoot yourself or anyone else. Competition is the best way to prove that's true. That's true. <laughs> uh, do Navy pilots need to know Morse code? No, I don't know Morse code. Uh, <laughs> Gonky must be the busiest dude. Gonky, 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 Gonky. Yeah, it's not that he's the busiest dude on earth. He's got one kid that's just like that's con controlling his life, and I can't relate because I have no kids and I have no. What do I got right here. Oh, oh. I have no kids and I also have no wife, so I can't relate at all. But I think that's what. <clears throat> Uh, if you return to flying an airliner, you can do some cockpit stuff. No, you cannot. The FAA is very much against that. So is the company. That's a good way to get fired. Is there a thing like talent of flying an aircraft? Yeah. I mean, there's there's talent involved. Uh, I shot an AIM-9 mic. 
Thank you for the advice for my son who can, can't wait to get his license someday. His big Christmas present was a simulator with Logic Pad. That's awesome. Merry Christmas to him. I'd have loved that as a kid. <clears throat> Please join my home. Okay. Sure. Uh, Red October War Games in the 90s? No, I haven't heard of that. Over, let's ask the AVA questions. Have you ever done it in active combat or just at drones? I don't know. I don't, I actually don't even understand this question. Are you saying air to air? It's very rare for anybody to do actual air to air combat these days. Any plans? Eh, not really. Is refueling a hard job? It's challenging i wouldn't say it's i mean it's just something you get used to what's my rank in the air force i am an 04 a major oh boy all right lambo go to www.makethemtellyouknow.com all your questions will be answered there but to answer your question uh Yes. If there's one type of jet at two different bases, you could get to choose. If it's in the drop and you ranked high enough, like if, the, if you're not the number one person, you're not going to get your first choice. Unless the number one person doesn't want your first choice, in which case then you might. So needs of the Air Force and class ranking. That's how it's going to work. <clears throat> uh, what are your thoughts on the F-86? That'd be cool. They were selling one a while back. Would have been cool to buy it. I think we need to crowdfund you a Huey. <laughs> yeah. Chicks dig it. Let Gonky know that he has earned a cult status among aviation nerds in Malaysia. That is awesome. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Gonky know that. I have never been in a Porsche, period. I looked at him. I like the GT4, the 718 GT4. It does the Russia-Ukraine stuff. Nope. Uh, I've read the first four Spectre books and a sample of the first Alex Shepard book. Is there any chance Spectre and Shepard will ever cross paths? Yes, the Helios conspiracy. And Finney Flop. No, just the Helios conspiracy. Uh, Flight of the Intruder. Yep, that's on there. So is Bat-21. What about Flight of the Navigator? See you later, Alligator. Uh, I have not played DCS since Gonky and I did that video. But yeah, it'd be cool to do the, see the Apache, especially with Casmo. Favorite classic or retro muscle car? Oh, man. Um... Does a, does a 91 or 92 ZR1 now count as a, a retro muscle car? Otherwise, I'd have to say, you know, the, the 427 Corvettes. Um, maybe a 68 Camaro or something. Or the, uh, the Boss Mustang. If you could afford a track day car, which would you go for? I'm actually looking at buying a ZL11 LE for a track day car, but um, if 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 money were no object, uh, Hendrick Motorsports is actually selling old NASCARs with track day setups. It's about 185 grand, and they are full up 600 and something horsepower, 700 something horsepower, the RO4 engines and track prepped NASCARs with the digital display and all that. That would be my track car. Uh, did you keep your old flying kit? Define flying kit. You get to keep your helmet, your, yeah, maybe G suit. Usually they're, they keep the G suit, but you get to keep your helmet. <clears throat> Uh, if in your pure fight, would you look to get back into the deployable squadron with a guard? I mean, I'm already looking into that. I don't think that it's going to change. It's, you know, there's just no spots. There's no spots. There's no transition course. You know, it, it's not a matter of me not looking for it. It's that they just don't 
they're not hiring me. <clears throat> That's awesome. 22 years as a maintenance officer. Thank you. You know, we don't thank the maintenance guys enough. Take it. You're a Chevy guy. Yeah, I'm a Chevy guy. Although they don't, they don't love me like I love them. You know, I didn't get a call about the C8 Z06. Nobody called me. What do I miss from the Air Force defect? The omelets. Cornwallis Wilbur sounds like a good pen name. Yep. Uh, what are the differences between a good wingman and a poor wingman? Uh, two Joker bingo, lead your own fire, I'll take the fat one. No, I mean, a good wingman backs up his flight lead. Or her flight lead. You know, targets when necessary, is in position, stays visual, um, shoots when they're supposed to, you know, basically does everything per the contracts, per what they're supposed to do. A bad wingman does the exact opposite. <clears throat> Thank you for the insights on how it is to be a fighter pilot. Thank you, Wolf. Are you looking to make content? Nah. Actual racing, yes, but racing games, no. Uh, GE, yeah. Will we get more track day videos? Yes. I want to do, that's why I was going to get the ZL1 1LE. Or, you know, if Hendrick wanted to rent me a car. I wanted to do like a North America world tour where I would go from track to track to track to track to track, just looking at all the different tracks around the country doing uh, track days. Oh, we've answered this one a bunch. Uh, I don't know. Odds are not, but we'll see. Uh, I would say that the reserve is a train wreck, the guard less so, but overall, I think it all is a train wreck right now. Video tour of your flight helmets or models, features, and some of your history with them would be cool. Yeah, and also I'd gotten contacted by the guys who made that new helmet, the one that Hazard Lee did the video, which I guess he's already done a review. So, But I, they contacted me about checking out their new helmet, so uh, that might be a good video for that. Do I still fly? Yes, sure do. My dogs, they all have their all call sign. Luna, Sniper, Kaiser, those are call signs. Tulane or LSU football? Uh, yeah, I mean, Tulane football, I, I have to support them because that's my school, but really I watch LSU. Your NASCAR level would be great with some fighter jet vibe. What number would you pick? That's a 69. Can't make it. I can't do it. Sorry, uh, no, it doesn't. It has nothing to do with this POTUS. It's, this has been years in the making. Uh, Friday Jacks, no. No, chicks don't care. What's the reason you look for guard or reserves now? Because I can't go active duty and I wouldn't want to. So those are really the only two options. Merry Christmas, Luke. What is Ronnie Mack of NASCAR? Ever thought of a long haul job like a trucker? Why does the guard fly T-38s and something with combat cape? Guard does not. Well, they I th actually I take that back. They do it in Virginia. But the reserves are flying it as the Adair mission, and that ends January 30th. Got a buddy. Oh, nice. Roll wave. Budget cuts meant a frontline plane had to go. Which one would you choose and why? F-15C. I mean, I, I, I would say, you know, we're getting the EX, so the C model would, would go. Um, after that would probably be the Raptor. So we just didn't buy enough of the Raptor to make it worth it. Did you fly that high in the Robinson and get you the desired result? Uh, no. Can we still expect one of your books to go? I hope so. That's what I'm working on. Uh, 
Ah, uh, he's an exaggerated character in motocross racing. He rides 69. Uh, not 100%, but you can't have any, like, showstoppers. You know, there are some that absolutely not. I think I should rephrase. Why is your current flying job being canceled? Well, uh, Hurricane Michael happened, and we moved to Eglin, and then... There, we're going to move the Raptors to Langley, and Langley is a guard T-38 base for the at air mission. So the reserve said, we don't want to do that. And then they said, we just actually, we don't even want to be in the T-38 mission at all because they believe it's a dying mission and they don't want to be using fighter pilots for that. So um, despite the Air Force's request that we stay, Air Force Reserve Command already spent the money for the positions that they had decided were going to go away. So there's no chance of us staying, and that's the end of it. They they kind of just said, "Hey, you know, go away," and that's that's what it is. They they, they went from promising us all F-35s, which is what they had said the day we were, you know, our first day out of Hurricane Michael, to thank you for your service, see you later, and that's it. They didn't help us. They didn't try to find us jobs. They didn't do anything for us. So, uh, I really, you know, I, I've been disappointed in how it's been handled. It just hasn't been, hasn't been something that I thought was was very good. River Rattlers, man, I love flying in New Orleans. I wish I could still fly the ri River Rattlers. The Red Air background at two hundred four. Would it be possible to fly for ATAC? Uh, Possibly. Because uh, T-38s are cheap. And the reserves aren't flying them. It's the Tufets. The active duty has them. We're just augmenting the active duty. And it's cheap. It's cheap red air for the F-22. There's no need for a combat-capable aircraft to do red air for the F-22. Which F-16? I flew the Block 25, 30, and 42. No, I cannot retire. I've got five years left before I can even be close to retirement eligible. If you were offered a spot on the Artemis program to go to the moon after 2024, I see 2024 is what, two years from now? So I'd be 40, 41. Yeah, I'd do it. How'd you come up with the espionage? Uh, Imagination, man. Imagination and research. But yeah, I do think it's possible. Uh, I would, yeah, I would say USAFA and then guard, guard. I would not, I, I honestly, I can't promote the reserves anymore. Not, not with what I've seen in the last couple years. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm 38. I'll be 39 in February. Any experience of Nellis? Uh, I've done red flags. I've done schools there. I mean, it's a good base. Yeah. Although the reserves aren't complaining about it. They've hired too many people. So they want to get rid of people. Just went to military aviation high school in Poland. Oh, wow. Are there any important things I should know about the job then as the fighter pilot? Just have a good attitude. Help your, help your bros. Make them tell you no. I absolutely would have loved to have flown the Tomcat. Did you know any pilots who had a rough start? They ended up being excellent pilots. Yep. Deuce. Deuce struggled early on, and he ended up becoming a you know weapons instructor. Uh, just having a good attitude. Always studying, always, always you know, keeping their chin up. Uh, I mean, it sucks, but life will go on, you know. How do I feel about that? I mean, I'm sure something good will happen. I have faith. I couldn't go to test pilot school because I didn't have a technical degree. So, uh, Gonky's actually probably going to get fired even before that. Um, I don't know what he's going to do. His, I think his his military career is over. He'll probably have a very big video about that one.
We were losing pilots fast to the airlines. Yeah, but in the, it's different for the reserves now because you can do the reserves while doing the, air, the airlines. Um, you know, that's still a possibility. Um, healthy eyes are just good in general, although you can wear glasses as long as it's correctable to 2020. But, you know, you still have to be able to look out and, you know, not everything. I mean, what happens when the HMD or the radar doesn't pick them up? I mean, I, my entire job right now is all visual pickup. Like everything I do is visual. Uh, no, wasn't, wasn't eligible. I would have done uh, like talking to rain. I'd have loved to have done like a, a demo team, but uh, like Viper demo or something, but that's an active duty position. Um, no, the T-38 won't be replaced by the, uh, T seven for probably till 2030, 2028. It's, it's a long way off. Uh, the degree you have to have a, a STEM degree, technical degree. That's what they require. You can't just go be a test pilot willy nilly. Uh, I'm not going to get my channel demonetized, but Gonky will have a video on why he is that that's going on. possible for me to fly for the guard uh, if I can find one to hire me, but it's unlikely. Oh, I bet. I bet wearing NVG's glasses would suck. Uh, we can't go back to the Navy. I mean, it's kind of a one-way door at this point, and so it's a year process to get re-scrolled. I, I think that's over. And plus, Gonky's Exodus is service wide. He is being fired by the DOD. So he's his military career is over. Uh, I was actually hoping to fly this week, but they didn't schedule me for the T 38. So I probably have maybe four more sorties left, four or five, and that's it. Why is it unlikely to get hired? Because I haven't flown anything that they have in five years. Actually, more than that. So for an F-16, I would need a TX-1 course, which is the long TX course. Um, most squadrons are tra either transitioning to the F-35 or they're in the F-16 and they don't have TX course capability. Um, it is, it's just, it's, it's the market guys are coming off active duty, current qualified. So they're not hiring guys like me who haven't flown a fighter in many years. So it's just a bad timing. That's all it is. Yeah. Sorry, man. Uh, first of all, the plural of aircraft is aircraft. Second. Yeah. You can buy an L 39 or something. Uh, I guess you could work at the Pentagon. I don't know why I'd want to. I wouldn't want to. Nope. Nope. It's for other protective reasons. I have tried sim racing. I used to do eye racing. We used to have a Mover Ruins Racing League. I just haven't had time. Going to be able to record my last flight? Maybe. Uh, it's not that I haven't flown any plane. I haven't flown any fighters. So I've been flying the T-38 like a fighter, but I haven't flown anything with radar equipped since 2016. So, you know, the F-18 and then before that, the you know, it's been, it will have been 10 years since I've flown the F-16. So, you know, it's just non-current. Yeah, please start that GoFundMe. My favorite Jane's ATF mission was the presidential escort. I always thought that one was cool. Do you fly heavies in the guard? No. I mean, I, I, why do that when I can go fly for the airlines? Can you imagine how your life would be without getting involved with YouTube? Yeah, it'd be interesting. I mean, it's it's definitely been changing. It's, but a lot of good opportunities have come from it, so I can't complain. But anyway, it has been almost two hours we've been doing this. This was only supposed to be an hour stream, but I always love chatting with you guys. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll do some more of these videos soon, the Texas Air Aces stuff, because I think that's cool. Uh, got some more flying with Lester. We're going to do Mover Ruins movies on the fighter pilot uh, operation, the IMAX one. And uh, yeah, if you want to send me something, move or mailbag at cwloin.com. Or if you want to mail me something, see, do I have that here? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, right there. Or you can uh, PO Box 8594, Manville, Louisiana, 70470. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.